Hello everybody, welcome to my first video, woo! This is going to be a dramatic reading of Nightwing The New Order, issue one. Nightwing The New Order is written by Kyle Higgins. The art is by Trevor McCarthy. Without further ado, let's get into Nightwing The New Order. Metropolis. Twelve years ago. What? What happened? It all uh, hurts. Everybody, stay calm. Don't try to move too much. First responders will be here ASAP for anyone who needs assistance. D Dick. What? What did you do? I'm sorry, Clark. I had to save the world. We grew up getting glimpses of who our parents were before we knew them. Come on, Arthur, you're killing me here. <gasps> Call it quits now and you'll save us both a ton of painkillers. <laughs> Please, just leave me alone. Wing one, in position. I only want to- yeah! GET AWAY FROM ME! Ugh. Wing 1 is down. Send an evac unit to my location. I'm staying on light. Arthur, seriously, <laughs> this is a terrible <laughs> idea. <laughs> There's no way this ends well. Don't worry, Commander. Wings 2 and 3 are picking up pursuit. <sighs> we look at photographs. We watch videos. We listen to stories. We try to learn more about them so we can learn more about ourselves. <gasps> Arthur Light, this is your last warning! Stand down now, or face! You're not taking me. You're not taking me! Ugh. In 2028, my dad saved the world. But it was complicated. And every time I asked him about it, he said the same thing. We make the hardest decisions for the people we care about the most. Ugh. There we go. Please, please, I didn't do anything. Oh, come on now, Arthur. We both know that's not true. You've been delinquent on your doses for two weeks. No, I've been taking my meds. That little display you threw back there says otherwise. Please, Dick, the stuff messes with my head. I'm, I, I'm old. I'm not going to start any trouble. I'm sorry, Arthur, but you know the laws. Eventually, I learned what he meant. <sighs> Eventually, I learned how even good people can come to believe in really terrible things. All right, then. That's a wrap. Good work, everybody. What happened is simple. Arthur Light made a choice to go off his inhibitor meds. He was issued several official warnings, but took no steps to getting back on the proper dosages. Our team took the necessary actions to make sure his powers stayed in check and that Arthur wouldn't pose any further threat to Gotham. Were you even concerned because of his past criminal record? I was concerned because it's illegal to possess metahuman abilities in the United States and not be on inhibitors. Period. There was a report in the Times earlier today about black market abilities coming out of Metropolis. I saw that. Yeah. Sorry, I can't comment on it. You guys got anything else? No? Alright then. See everyone tomorrow. Hey, uh, Mr. Grayson, sorry to be that guy, but would you mind, for my nephew, his history class is just getting to Metropolis. Oh yeah, of course. My pleasure. Can I have an autograph too, Mr. Nightwing? Not if you keep calling me Mr. Does it make you feel old? Yes, Liz. Yes, it does. You are old. Ah, uh, well, I guess you're never getting promoted. Lies. McDaniel said you took point last night. Even soared from a rooftop? Uh-huh. I thought we talked about that. Talked about what? Uh, you're in the head of the Crusaders. You shouldn't be running around in the field busting dregs on the cleanups. It's dangerous. You know, I was a superhero, right? Saved the world, kind of made all of this possible. I've heard. Besides, Commissioner Gordon used to work in the field all the time. And now he's dead. Okay, I'm not having this argument anymore. As the boss... I get to say that. Bosses wear ties and sit behind desks. 
And if I had to wear this thing all the time, I'd quit. That's all it would take, huh? Guess you'll never know. You should see this. You know that's my chair, right, Brady? Oh yeah. Sorry, Commander, but, well. No official word yet on how much was destroyed, but early reports say close to 20,000 gallons. That's at least three months worth of inhibitor meds. You think it's him? Security guards didn't see anything, not that they would have. All right, Brady, get some text prep. We'll head out in the morning. I want to look over the site myself. Great. You're still here. It's only four, Jill. Why wouldn't I be here? Because it's Tuesday and your dinner. Oh, oh, ah, uh, gotta go, Brady. Let's set 0700 for departure. See you guys bright and early. That saying about losing your head if it weren't attached to you? Uh-huh. He wouldn't even realize it was missing. It's not like she was wrong. My dad spent most of his life trying to pull off a ridiculous balancing act. Head of the Crusader Division. Father. Worldwide celebrity. After Metropolis, Dick Grayson became something different to everyone, including a traitor. For a guy who hated letting people down, I'm not sure he ever really came to terms with that. Which is probably why we didn't talk much about his time as Nightwing. At least, not then. Naturally, that changed the older I got, and the more I learned about what he'd done. Which, you know, is the crappy thing about growing up. Eventually, every kid has to learn the truth. That their parents aren't superheroes, even when they need to be. Jake, if you haven't cleaned up the family room yet, you've got 10 minutes before- I'm afraid you're too late, Master Richard. Your son is already occupied. I should have known you'd be early and beat me to the stove, Alfred. And you'll say nothing about not needing to cook for you two. These days, it's not often I get to. But I think Chris Ramsey is just jealous because Coach says I can play shooting guard or small forward, but, but Chris thinks he should be playing on the wing, so Whatever if he wants to say mean things to me, that just says more about him, right? 100%. And I would like to point out, that might be the most mature thing I've ever heard you say. Well, duh, that's because I am mature. So do you have any embarrassing stories about my dad, Alfred? Oh, Master Jake, there are not enough hours in the day to recount them all. <gasps> really? What's the best one? I want to hear it. I bet you do. It's just, you know, such a shame that you're failing algebra. Dad, come on. Hey, as soon as I stop getting phone calls from teachers, I stop writing you on the homework. That's the deal. Now go on, and I'll be up there to see it when it's done. <sighs> Fine. He's gotten so much taller, I hardly recognize him. Yeah, the last year's been a blur, that's for sure. But... I guess you know what that's like, huh? Master Bruce, you, Timothy. I watched children grow enough for a lifetime. So how long are you back in Gotham? A week, I suppose. The board needs some final signatures for the museum expansion as the executive of Master Bruce's estate. They say they can't move forward without me. Even in retirement, you're not really retired, huh? Apparently not. Though you simply can't beat the Arizona weather, even if finding a proper bagel is a downright challenge. You're Gotham through and through, Alfred. You belong here. Perhaps, although even now, seeing the manor on the drive over, well, I'm afraid there are far too many memories. Good and bad. Yeah, I understand that. How about you two? We're just keeping on. School's been tough this year, as you can probably tell. On the whole, though, he's doing okay. And I'm a basketball dad now, so that's fun. Have you heard anything from- No, we haven't- We don't even know where she is. Does Jake ask about her? Not as much anymore. I mean, it's hard on him, obviously, not having any kind of a relationship with her. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll understand how she could just leave, but today- Mm. You know, I saw the news this morning. They say Arthur Light will face charges of premeditated neglect. Well, that's the law. And how much of Master Bruce's money did you spend to make it that way? That's not how the law passed, and you know that. You're forcing people to suppress something natural. Are we really having this conversation again, Alfred? 
There is nothing natural about superpowers. That's why they're super. And what about those that the inhibitor meds don't work on? I hear stories, Richard, about the facilities where people are put in stasis for nothing more than being different. How is that something you can believe in? That's not fair. The number of people is so small and it's not permanent. Just until the doctors figure out how to counteract the powers. You saw how bad things got before Bruce died, before Metropolis. You, who lost so much, can you really not understand why we're doing this? I'm sorry, Richard, but even after all this time, I cannot. Like I said before, Dad hated letting people down, but Alfred, to his last day, that one hurt the most. I mean, what feels worse than letting down the people you love? See, when you actually do the homework, you get it just fine. Why'd you quit being Nightwing? And don't say you got too old. I see the TV. You still go out chasing people with the Crusaders. Well, that's different. How? I'm not swinging off jump lines or falling off buildings. Well, most of the time, anyway. Did you know that Dr. Light is Chris Ramsey's uncle? Uh, no. I didn't know that. Chris didn't get mad at me today because he wants to play on the wing. He got mad because he said everything's worse after you blew up the thing and all the powers went away. That a lot of people got hurt. Is that what happened? You never really talk about it. So, if you took all the powers away, how do some people still have them? It didn't work on everyone. Most people, but not everyone. So you did hurt people. Like mom. That's why you stopped being Nightwing, isn't it? That was part of it. Do you regret it? I regret that people got hurt. Then why are you still hurting people? Like Dr. Light? Because right now, as painful as it is, that's what the world needs. And sometimes we make the hardest decisions for the people we care about the most. Over the years, I've thought about that conversation a lot. About dad's conviction, about my naivete, but most of all, I think about it as our last real moment together, before our lives went to complete hell. What about the thermal scans? Yeah, exactly, and that's where it gets interesting, Commander. Most of the scanners were trash, but we got a new trick that we can recreate residual waves dating back almost 36 hours, which gets us this image. So it is him. This facility was top secret. If Wally West found this site... I know. Go for Grayson. So by this point, you've probably figured out what the story is, right? I mean, all the clues are there. The son who worships his father. The father who wants to make the world a better place for his son. I have nothing but tremendous respect for you, Mr. Grayson, for what you've done for Gotham and really the world. Because of the sensitivity of the issue, I felt it important that you have the chance to come here first. In 2028, my dad took away 90% of the world's superpowers. Who else was there? It happened after basketball. Jake's coach was the only one who saw anything. You have my word. Any and all discretion was taken. Then he built a career as the face of the Crusaders, hunting down the remaining powers in the United States. The man who'd been the heart and soul of the superhero community made a decision to turn against the people who trusted him. But all of that was leading up to the day when he'd have to make the hardest decision of all. Oh, Jake. What to do about me? I'm sorry, Dad. I I'm so sorry. And that's the issue. Thank you for watching my first YouTube video. Have a good day.